Hey, Riddle here. Okay, I want to share my artist tip of the day with you. Twice now, when I was out in the art world, once in San Francisco and once locally here in Santa Cruz at a coffee shop downtown, I encountered artists displaying broken or damaged art. Not only were they displaying damaged and broken art, but they had a very high price tag <laughs> on these pieces for sale. So the young lady in San Francisco, uh, very talented, and I walked up to her as her canvas was blowing over once again in the wind, but it had been previously damaged, and she had a price tag of almost $4,000 on this damaged painting. And I could see that she just wasn't taking herself seriously as an artist. And she also wasn't learning from her mistakes, that she wasn't transporting and caring for her very valuable hard work. So um, I approached her as a mentor and as a professional and, you know, pretty much uh, laid it out for her. And uh, that was that. Then in Santa Cruz, I looked over and I saw this really exciting painting, a decent sized and it had a $2,000 price tag on it. So as I was cruising by the painting though, I realized that it was warped, like severely warped, the entire painting. And it had this huge tear in the side of it. And uh, I, I just laughed. I was like, is this dude serious? $2,000 for this torn up piece of artwork. So. Just to be kind, because no one ever did this for me, I reached out to the artist and said, you know, if you don't take yourself seriously as a professional, nobody else is going to. And as not just an artist who's been in the game for decades, but also a professional, I, you know, I, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so he was very open to the constructive criticism though. And uh, that was that. So don't display broken art. If you've damaged something, what do you do with it? That is the question. Well, one thing that I learned many years ago, and this is something that no one will tell you, is that it you don't have to sell out every show because having ownership of some of your best work at every point of your professional growth at every point of your life is actually a really valuable asset to hold on to. Uh, people don't think about this, but it was explained to me uh, by this sculptor, sculptor in Paris and also by this uh, very, very affluent um, art director in New York City. And basically, if you're going to stay in the game and, you know, you are going to be a professional artist and see your work going up in value in the future, well, imagine that when you hit the prime of your professional career, when you're getting the big bucks for your work, owning the majority or a huge part of, of that collection. It's literally like... Um, owning your own stock options in yourself or spinning straw into gold, which is, you know, it doesn't get any better than this. But that being said, you, want, you don't want to have just a bunch of your broken stuff. So if you've invested a ton of time and energy and you're just so in love with this painting, and of course it's very tragic, it's horribly tragic to have a piece damaged. And the funny thing is, when I reached out to the second artist and told him about the, you know, the damaged painting and that he really shouldn't, you know, be displaying that, um, he, he said, well, that was actually damaged there at the coffee shop. So I asked him, I said, well, didn't you have a contract, you know, that if your piece was damaged, that you would be reimbursed for that? And he didn't reply, which tells me he's not being a professional. 
because there's lots of contracts out there you can just download from Google in regards to the basics of when your work is being displayed somewhere, how long it's going to be up, and who's liable for theft or damage. And this is a very, very basic contract, a very basic thing. And if uh, entity, meaning wherever you're gonna display your work at, be it a gallery, or a coffee shop or, or a restaurant is not willing to agree to that contract, you do not want to put your work in that establishment because they have no respect for you and it will turn out to be very disappointing as it was for this young artist and I'm sure many other artists. Okay, back to what do you do? What do you do? You have a damaged painting that you've spent a lot of time creating and it has still has value to you and now you can't sell it because it's damaged. What do you do? Well, what you do is do your homework, get a nice high resolution camera and take excellent photographs of it under really, really perfect lighting conditions. And uh, then you reproduce it on canvas and you could actually do some painting touches. So then it's like an artist print or on acrylic, like this piece was reproduced on acrylic. And then you suddenly have the power to not only still sell the print, perhaps for a little bit less, but multiple, multiple prints. But I suggest if you wanted to have some value doing a limited edition and doing a little something fancy, fancy, if you have it printed on canvas, I'll show you an example of it printed on canvas. And um, yeah, do a limited edition where you're gonna actually sign it and put some artist touches on it. And that's how you're, you're gonna recover your cost from that. Now, so I, I'm really smart about holding on to the, um, the intellectual rights for my work. This painting was originally done on canvas, but I saved the digital of it. And this was reprinted after I digitally enhanced it on acrylic. And I really love stuff on acrylic. Now, if you look out the window back here, there's that giant window you see laying on the... the so this painting was originally painted on that piece of glass and it fell over in the last storm and was completely destroyed. But luckily, I got a great digital photo of it, so it hasn't been completely lost because of my uh, neglecting to protect it from the storm. So you got a double bonus today. You got some good business advice, and you got to see some of my art collection. I think that's about it. I'm going to wrap it up there. If you have any questions, I'm sure I'm going to think of something I forgot after I stop this video. Um, and I'm not going to show you my entire art collection. So the next video I make, you'll get to see more. Um, but if you have any questions or comments, feel free to reach out to me. Um, I love to mentor and share with young artists. And I have basically been through a lot and I did it the hard way. So, uh, yeah, I, I'm definitely a great resource for, for these types of things. Please avoid the pain and the mistakes by tapping into my lifetime experience dealing with the art world because <laughs> it really comes down to dealing with the business world. All right, take care of yourselves and take care of each other because I believe how we treat each other on our streets is our ultimate reality. Bye for now.